Hey fellow readers, Bookworm Reader here, and welcome back. So today's video is going to be a bit of a... Well, I can't say a bit of a... It's going to be August's August wrap-up. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, so like I said in the intro, today's video is going to be August wrap-up. Now, I have to say I actually did really well this week, month. Um, really fast. Well, let me turn down the baby monitor so you guys cannot hear my daughter having a fit because I'm trying to get her put up right now. Alright, sorry about that guys. Turn down the video. Um, now, I know for a while I was having my space in my bookshelf, but right now the spot on my couch that I usually put you guys is kind of a mess. I'm currently trying to like get a bunch of stuff cleaned up so that I can find some stuff that I need for work later, as well as try and get like the room actually clean, like our room decently clean. Like it's clean, but it's not spotless like I'd like it. So anyway, uh, that's why we're kind of doing a different angle today. So like I said, today's video is going to be August wrap up. Um, like I was saying, I feel like I did actually really well this week, or this month. Um, I had, what, um, I believe I had eight books on my TBR this month. Um, I was participating in the newts. I have to say I did not complete my newts, which is perfectly fine. I just didn't have a lot of time this month to read, but I do have to say that I actually feel like I got a lot done. Like, I got a lot read, and for you guys who know, for you guys who have, like, I don't think I've expressed this video, but in, like, June and July, or, like, in, like, June and July, I kind of, like, in June, I kind of fell into a reading slump. I was starting to kind of come out in July, but was still in it. And I feel like this month, I really, like, came out of the reading slump and was able to pick up a lot more books and get a lot more read. So, with that being said, the first book... I can't find, like, my little, like, TBR notebook. Like, the one that I had, like, what was all on my TBR on it. I can't... Ooh. I can't seem to find it for some reason right now. I don't know where it went, and so it's kind of sad that I can't find it because I feel like that would really help me to know what certain ones for, are for. Um, but I, like I said, I do feel like I did really well this week, this month. Um, I'm going to explain a little bit about next month's TBR in this video really fast. So from now on with my TBRs, if I don't complete a book that month, if I'm not like progressively like reading it, like if I'm not reading it or if I'm not like making progress in it within the last couple days when I will upload my TBR I will be taking a punishment for that book and I have to add a book I have to add one extra book to what for every book I don't finish I've had I have to add one extra book to my TBR so I'll kind of explain more of that in my TBR and we'll go from there um so starting off um I did finish so I'm gonna start off with the ebooks that I had because I had two of them this month. Where is I'll actually be right back. I'm gonna quickly go find my Kindle because I had one Kindle book this month, so I'll be right back, guys. Alright guys, so I found it. So like I said, I'm gonna start with the ebooks because I have to show you the ebooks on my computer because that's the only way that I can actually like show you guys that I physically own them as an ebook and like yeah. So the two ebooks that I had dang it, hold on. Guys, like it just opened a book that I didn't want to open. Okay. So the two ebooks that I had on my TBR this month, I'm going to show you, like, I don't know if I can make them bigger. I've read it. What the heck? No. <sighs> my computer's like 
freaking out on me. I clicked on something, like, I clicked on something, and now it's trying to, like, open something. Um, but the two books... Can you go back, please? Well, that's loading. We'll talk about the Kindle book. So, the Kindle book that I completed this month, I only had one, and that book that... Oh, I guess I had eight bo nine books on my TBR? I forgot about the Kindle one. I feel like there was less than that. Did it serious? It went back too far. Yay! Um, so that was the motivational switch was right here. It was really a super easy read for me. Like, it only had like 97 pages, and it actually like really helped me. So I'm happy about that, and it kind of gave me a little bit more motivation. So I believe I gave it five stars, and I wouldn't mind reading his other book, which I believe is called The Personality. It's something to do with like personality. And that sort of thing, and I wouldn't mind reading that book um, by him. So yeah, there's that one. Um, I believe this is still loading because it's taking for Aiken ever. My books. Oh, it's because it didn't... Hold on, guys. I gotta switch back over to a different account because for some reason, it's not... Okay. For some reason, it took me back to, like, it took me back to a, a different account that I was signed into earlier. So, I guess we'll go with physical books. So, also on my TBR this month was City of Fallen Angels. For you guys who know, this has been on my TBR for a while now. I've been trying to put this series since I started my booktube channel back in, like, November of last year. Back in November of 2019. And just, I have to say, I'm struggling with this book right now because this book in the series is like the slowest book in the series and this is the book that a lot of, I've heard a lot of people DNF the entire series. My husband tells me to continue, tells me it's better and that the next book in the series is a lot better so this is a book that I probably will end up taking a one of the books that I will probably end up taking a punishment for on next month's TBR because I haven't made much progress in it so punishment we're gonna do five rolls or do five five books and then punishment so let's make six um yeah hopefully we can like figure out someone to work it back on an Xmas TBR and then I won't feel as bad for taking a punch before because I'll just be putting it back on the TBR. I'm just going to put these back like as I mentioned them to you. Next we have Unconditional by Holly J. Wood. This is another book this is the second book on my TBR that I'm going to end up taking a punishment for because this, I started this back in, like, back when I was, like, in that reading slump, and I just couldn't get through it, but I really am enjoying this book. It's the second book in the Valuable series, and I'm really enjoying the series. It's just, I got kind of, like, put into that reading slump, and I didn't really want to read. I couldn't, like, pick up anything and finish it, really. So, yeah. But I'm hoping, I'm going to take punishment for this one, and I'm hoping that I can actually get back on the next book and actually finish it. Um, next book that I'm pulling is The Red Pyramid by Rick Riordan. I am pretty sure, I'm listening to the audiobook of this one as well as reading the physical copy that I have. I'm pretty sure that I can get through this by the end of the month, so I don't think I'm going to take punishment. I'm just going to, and if I don't finish it, it'll be barely any, and I'll just roll it off into next month. So, yeah. That's how this, this one's going to work. I'm really enjoying this book as well. Um, I'm currently, like... I'm in the middle of chapter 9, um, in the audiobook, but I don't know exactly where in the middle of chapter 9, so I just put it at the beginning of chapter 9, so I'm around, like, page 115, 116, around there, like, the early hundreds, 
and really enjoying it. Um, this is the first book in the Kane Chronicle series. There's currently three out. I believe he's working on releasing the fourth one in October, I think. But I'm not sure. So, yeah. Really super excited to finish this book. I'm really enjoying the audiobook. Um, the way it switches between different uh, authors is really, or like, between different like perspectives and different uh, different narrators. It's really actually kind of interesting. I'm really enjoying it. Um, okay, so I got this to work, so we're going to pull this up. So there were two books, and I can't really, like, I'm just going to move my mouse over them. So we have, uh, I finished both of these. So we have the Harley Quinn uh, Black plus White plus Red comic, and then the Kingdom Hearts Volume 1. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix Volume 1. I finished both of those. So I really, I'm kind of glad. Those were like super easy reads, and so like I'm kind of glad that I was able to get those done. Ever. So yeah. Um, so yeah, it makes me really happy. I'm gonna go and close this. Next we have the first book in the Cirque du Freaks, Cirque du Freak series, which is a Living Nightmare. This is the Vampire Assistants, which is the second book. Um, I'm actually really super close to finishing it. I only have like 73 pages and you guys are probably like, no you're not, you're not even halfway through. But this is, this has, this is considered a trio, um, or a trilogy, like a trio because it's got the first three books. And it's so, first, the first book ends like right here, so I've got about 73 more pages left. I'm pretty sure I can get through this one. If not, like, it'll be the last couple pages, and I'll just quickly finish at the beginning of the next one. Next, we have Mockingjay by Susan Collins. For you guys who saw my book haul, you guys will know that I just recently hauled this book, as well as the next one I'm going to show you. Um, I didn't originally have this book when I put it on my TBR. I was just listening to the audiobook. But I convinced my husband to pick up a physical copy of it. This is the third book in the Hunger Games series. I have to say, okay, for you guys, I don't know if I've mentioned this in a previous video, but I had tried reading the Hunger Games series shortly after it came out. I read the first book, like, and I just kind of DNF the entire series because I was like, there's no way I'm getting into this. My husband convinced me to give it another try, and here I am finishing the third book. Um... I never thought I'd be able to pick the series back up and actually finish the series, but I'm really glad I did because I really love how it turns out. Um, if you guys want to see a book review on Mockingjay and like the kind of like whole Hunger Games series, let me know, and I will definitely be willing to do one. Uh, also, let me know if you guys want spoilers in it um, because I don't want to give you a spoilers. And then, if for you guys that don't want spoilers. I can like just put like a little like tag saying, hey, if you don't want spoilers, you know, don't watch this video or skip to this part of the video. Um, yeah. So, let me know. Um, I gave this four stars along with the other three in the series. Um, I believe the first time I read through hung The Hunger Games, like the first book in the series, I gave it like a two star. I did not really enjoy it, but I'm really glad that I gave it a second try, and can't wait for the next book that I'm going to show you guys. Oh, I can put this one back on the shelf, because I have read it. And then finally, last but certainly not least, on my TBR this month was the Songbird, uh, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Um, I have not even picked this one up, so I'm I feel like I should take a punch for this one, but I know with my TBR, I know that there's a way I can work this on in my TBR, and I'll kind of explain that in my TBR video, like what I'm doing for what, and I'll kind of explain that. So I feel like that, I feel like I'm going to take a punishment for it, so that means eight books on our TBR, but I'm pretty darn sure that I can work this into my TBR next month. I'm really looking forward to it. This is the prequel to the Hunger Games series. It kind of follows... Um, 
President Snow when he was a child and, like, that sort of thing. Like, a younger President Snow. And so, like, I'm really, like, excited to kind of, like, go back in time in this book and kind of, like, before the Hunger Games and kind of explore, like, President Snow's perspective of, like, everything and all that. So super excited about this book. We'll have to see. Um, but I'm pretty sure I can put it on next one's TBR. So, that is going to be uh, August wrap-up. Like I said, I feel like I did decently well. Like, out of the, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? There was 10 books on my TBR. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Sorry, there was 9 books on my TBR last month. I finished, I finished Mockingjay. I finished Kingdom Hearts, I finished the comic, I finished the motivational switch. I'm super close to finishing uh, A Living Nightmare. So I'm going to count it as finished because like I said I only have like 73 pages and I feel like I can get through it. I'm pretty darn sure I can get through The Red Pyramid by the end of the month. That's why I'm not taking a punishment for Living Nightmare or The Red Pyramid. So, oh, you could basically say I've completed six out of the nine, so that means I only didn't complete three of the books. One of them I haven't even, like, one of them I haven't even picked up. The other two I have started, but haven't gone super far in, so I'm taking punishments for them. So, yeah. With that being said, I'm really kind of proud of myself this month. Um, comment down below if you want me to do a book review on the mock on mocking jay and the rest of the hunger game series and i will definitely try and make some time and do that for you guys um and also comment if you want spoilers or not so with that and the wrap up coming to a conclusion read and craft on readers